NSYNC or Justin? Mm, NSYNC. Destiny's Child or Beyonce? <gasps> Ooh, Beyonce. Britney before or... Oh, wait, I think we're on. <gasps> oh, <laughs> hi, everybody. My name is Maddie, and I'm an actor at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And this is my fellow actor, Mike. Hey, everybody. We're so happy to be back to celebrate all of those July birthdays. And this birthday party is going to be so fetch. Ugh, Mike, stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> anyway, in case you missed us last time, Mike and I really miss the Children's Museum, especially hosting dance parties in the Sunburst Atrium. Now, last time we got to learn some dances from the 1990s, but today we're going to learn some dances from the two. Thousands. So everyone, pop your collar, or collars in Mike's case, <laughs> plug in your iPod and let's get going. This is going to be so fetch. Oh, Mike, it does work. Yeah, uh, but before we start uh, dancing like we're in a Gap commercial, I think we need to get into the birthday party spirit with some birthday party hats, and our friends Melissa and Parker are standing by to show everyone at home how to make their very own. Take it away. Hi, I'm Melissa Mattingly, the event producer in the event rentals department at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And today, my co-host is my son, Parker. Hi. Wearing a birthday crown is the perfect way to celebrate your special person. And this craft is easy, so even for those that don't consider themselves that creative, it's something that anyone can do. Parker, you want to go over the materials? Yes. We will need ruler, scissors, a pencil, a stapler, or tape. Yes. And then you're also going to need a gift bag or wrapping paper. If you're like me, you probably have these sitting around and it'll be easy to grab and a creative way to upcycle them. Okay. And if you don't have those items, then you can also use something like newspaper or construction paper. So the first thing you're going to do is take your bag or paper and you need to create a 20 inches long by 5 inches tall strip. Now if you're using a gift bag, you'll just want to simply cut off the top and the bottom and then cut along the side um, to make it big and lay flat. Now once you've cut it out, then you're going to want to fold it in half with the printed sides together. After that, you're going to want to take your ruler and your pencil and you're going to measure down two inches from the top. And then draw a straight line to mark that spot. From there, you're going to want to take your scissors and we're going to start to cut in a zigzag pattern to create the crown point. As we can see here, Parker's already started, so you're going to want to go up and down and make sure to not extend past the line. You can make your points as wide or as thin as you would like. Just try to make them as even as you can. Once that part is done, you can then open up your crown and you'll start to see it take shape. Now, if you're wanting to add any kind of embellishments or decorations, you want to do that first before securing it. Some examples of that include using pom-poms, or you can also take ribbon to create a border, as you've seen here. And then once you're done decorating, the way to fasten it is to bring it around into a circle. And if you have a stapler, it's a little easier than tape, but both work. And you're going to want to staple the top and the bottom. And then if you don't have a stapler and you use tape, you simply are going to want to tape the inside and the outside to hold it together. And there you have it. Parker, what do you think we should do now? I think we should put on our crowns and go to that dance party and rock. All right. See you there. 
Wow, Melissa and Parker, thank you so much. These hats are awesome. <laughs> hey, Mike? Mike, where'd you go? One hat to rule them all. One hat to find them. One hat to bring them together and in the darkness, find them. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. Mike really wanted to add a Lord of the Ring reference in this one. <laughs> Mike, I will throw you and your hat into the fires of Mount Doom. We gotta get up, get our heads in the game. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of getting our heads in the game, the first move we're going to learn is from the hit 2000s movie, High School Musical. All right, this is one of my favorite moves from the whole movie, and it goes like this. We're gonna wanna put our hands out in front of us like we're holding on to handlebars. Now, put those handlebars over your favorite leg. Then we're going to pull up on the handlebars, push them back down, pull up on the handlebar, push them back down, and then we're gonna slide and clap. Very nice, let's try that slow one more time. Motorcycle or bicycle handlebars. Pull up, push down, pull up, push down, slide and clap. Very cool nice. beans! Oh my gosh, Manny, that was tight. It was wicked. It was the bomb. Whoa, Mike, you gotta calm down on that 2000s lingo. You're getting a little extra. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next move we're going to learn is from InSync's number one hit, Bye Bye Bye. And we're gonna go across our bodies and kind of pretend like your hand is doing the chicken dance. <laughs> and we're gonna do that chicken hand, one, two, three, across our body, just like that. Ready, start again, cross your body and Chicken hand. Now in the song, it's actually bye bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> take me Got back. That? Take me back. Yes, <laughs> but Maddie, oh snap! I would love for you to teach my favorite dance of the two thousands. Well, which one's that? Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. Throw your hands up. That is a really good choice, Mike. Oh Thanks. my goodness, my friends. We're gonna do the single lady's hand. So put your hand up like you're waving hello. But then we're gonna take that hand, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. If you wanna add some sass, you can put your whole body into it. <laughs> and one more move from that song if you want to add that is the very famous pushing down. But you don't have to add that. That's just if you want to get fancy. We're focusing on this. I want to get fancy. Lady <laughs> that All was right, Mike. incredible. Thank you. Now, before we get started with this dance party, we do have one more friend from the Children's Museum who wants to show us one of her favorite moves. So everyone, this is Maria. Hey everybody, my name is Maria. I'm one of the actors at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and I'm here to wish you a very happy birthday today and to teach you a very popular dance called the Chicken Noodle Soup Dance. Now this is a dance that's associated with a song that came out of Harlem in 2006. It was written by Young B, who now goes by uh, Bianca Bonnie, and she co-wrote it with her uncle. Now, she wrote this song to be representative of her neighborhood at the time that she wrote it in Harlem in New York City. She decided to team up with DJ Webstar and it became a hit. You may also have noticed that this song has been redone for a 2019 version by Jay hope It's the Chicken Noodle Soup Dance. Today we're going to learn it together in four easy steps in order to help wish you a very happy birthday. So let's get started learning those steps. So one of the great parts about the chicken noodle soup dance is that it tells us the dance move to use while we're dancing it. There are four simple steps. The first step is called let it rain. All I'm going to do is take my arms in front of me and I'm going to move my fingers like it's raining outside. If I come closer, maybe you can see my fingers wiggle. You can practice that at home. Great, okay. So if I move my fingers down, let it rain, and pull my arms down to the side, that's step number one. Step number two is called 
clear it out. With that same wiggle on my fingers, I'm gonna move my arms from in front of my body out to the side. So we have let it rain and clear it out. Now, Young B talked about learning these terms from basketball that she used to play in her neighborhood. How cool, right? Let it rain, clear it out. Now, the next step is the chicken noodle soup. This involves your legs and your arms. Let's keep working with our arms. We're gonna move our arms from the outside, cross them in, out and in. So it'll go out, in, out, in, out, in. Very good. Adding our feet together, all it means is picking up our left foot, shifting our weight to our right foot, kind of like a pendulum. So it'll go left, right, left, right, left, right. When we put that together with our arms, it looks a little something like this. Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. The final step is taking a nice refreshing sip of soda with a soda on the side. Hold that soda can out, pop open the lid, and take a sip, right? So we have let it rain, clear it out, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Very good. Let's play the music and dance along. Thank you so much, Maria. DJ Mike, I think we are ready. Start the music. That's right, everybody at home. Get on your feet. Make sure you got enough room around you to dance because we're going to shake, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. All right, start with some freestyle. Get your bodies warm and moved in. All right, now we're going to do some Bye bye bye, ready? Bye, bye, other side, bye, 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 bye. And high school musical. <laughs> you can jump around. All right, we're gonna do Maria's move, the chicken noodle soup. Are you ready? And. Some single ladies. Don't forget your other hand. And. Musical, other side too.
think it's time for you to show us what you got. a round of applause that is what i call an epic 2000s dance party and thank you so much to all of our special guests who came to dance with us you know maddie it's uh, nice to have so many friends oh mike we would certainly be lost without them but uh you know maddie things are uh, reopening so i'll be looking forward to seeing you at the office <gasps> This was a really great way to celebrate all of those July birthdays. Now remember, you can have a dance party wherever you are with your own music. They're not just for birthdays. So grown-ups, show your kids some of your favorite dance moves. Dancing is a really great way to get up and move when we're spending all of this time indoors. So remember everyone, be free, stay fetch, and Always, Always remember, remember to, to dance. dance. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday.